In 27, you're asked to find the solution to the system of equations. So I'm going to ignore all the answer choices here, and I'm just going to do the work by hand. <clears throat> here, everything's set up in standard form. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take this top one. I'm going to multiply the top one by negative 3. If I do that, I'm going to do linear combination. So this is negative 9x minus 3y equals negative 6. And then that's uh, the second equation is x plus 3y is equal to negative 18. Now I'm going to add everything up together, and I get a negative 8x. These cancel, and that's equivalent to uh, negative 24. If I divide both sides by negative 8, I get x is equal to 3. So a positive 3, because negative and negative. So my x value is 3, which looks like this one right here, but I'm not sure yet. I'm going to go back and I'm going to plug in and I'm going to find y. So I'm going to use the top one right here because that would probably be the easiest. So the original here, 3 times 3 plus y is equal to 2. 9 plus y is equal to 2. Subtract 9 from both sides, and I get y is equal to negative 7 which does match my B value up here. But next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to store 3 and negative 7 in for X and Y, and I'm going to type those in to verify that I am right. So I'm going to go to my calculator, 3 store X, enter, negative 7 store Y, enter, and now I'm just going to type in both equations, and they should be true. 3X plus Y Hit enter, and I get 2, which works. And then x plus 3y, hit enter, and I get negative 18, which works. So now I know for a fact that that is right. Okay, I bet you if you plugged in any of these other ones, it might work for one but not the other. And that's how all those choices kind of work. Okay.